Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. Yes, that's right. This bank is closing personal lines of credit. Yes, you have probably heard about Wells Fargo closing personal lines of credit. Credit cards that individuals have been using, have been utilizing, helping their credit scores, building their scores. Now, perhaps you're saying, hey Brandon, look, I'm repairing my credit. I'm getting these negative nasty erroneous items out of there. I, you know, don't have a Wells Fargo credit card, so I'm not sweating it. But some of you might be dealing with this and wondering, what can you do? Hey, Brandon, I got a Wells Fargo credit card. What can I do to offset them closing my line of credit and my score potentially going down? Hey, they even say, Wells Fargo even says in their frequently asked questions, it says Wells Fargo warns customers that the account closure may have an impact on your credit score according to an FAQ okay, segment of the letter that they sent out to their customers. Now they're giving their customers 60 days. So if you've gotten that letter and you have some time, you may want to think about getting a credit card or a personal line of credit or whatever it might be that they're closing on you, depending on your situation, what you need to do. But you might consider going to another bank and getting that credit card, another big bank and getting that credit card and that line of credit while your credit score is stable. Now, if you're saying, hey, Brennan, you know what? My credit score is solid. You know, if my credit comes down five, 10 points, it's no biggie because in the long run, I know it's gonna come back up and I barely use that line of credit and it's no big deal, okay? Hey, I've had that happen to me as well. I've had store cards that have, you know, closed that to no fault of my own. I've had uh, credit cards that have changed hands, changed um, the, the from like an Amex to a, to an, a Visa, um, and matter, matter of fact, it was a Hilton card, okay? It was a, one of these travel cards I utilized, and that card got closed. And I was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. Uh, another one, they were like, hey, look, we're, we're, not car we're not carrying this card anymore. We're not using this. So things like this do happen. It's kind of rare that it's just one of these big banks. Now, Wells Fargo's had some other issues, and I'm sure you're aware. But this is the type of stuff that they do. This is the type of stuff that creditors do. This is the type of stuff that you want to be resilient from. So what we've talked about here and how you get some of the highest FICO scores is you actually have 12 revolving accounts, 12 credit cards. Now I'm not saying go out and get them all today and you know you do that over a period of time. But that's why you have all that available credit because if one little card wants to act up, oh, well, we're not, we're close. Okay, great, no problem. Score might come down five, 10 points. You go out, you get a different line of credit. No big deal, okay? So if you're in a situation where you're like, but this is important, I gotta make sure that I go ahead and get another line of credit, another trade line before this closes. Wells Fargo is giving people 60 days basically to take care of the situation and a lot of individuals are probably wondering what they can do. You want to be here. You want to hit that subscribe try button and that bell for notifications for you get these so you get these videos and you know what kind of stuff is going on, what kind of games they're trying to play, okay? So yes, you can do this. You can do this. You can go out, you can take care of this before this happens and you know, here's the thing. Wells Fargo, your credit score might come down a little bit, but you can heal it. You can repair it. We are here to help. Okay, there's all sorts of avenues for you. In fact, I had an individual who wrote in was dealing with some of these negative, nasty, erroneous things. And they're saying, hey, look, do you have a demand letter to deal with the bureaus playing games and just trying to say, oh, well, yeah, we quote unquote verified and, you know, I want to send this with my second round of letters. I want to send a demand letter on top of my second round of letters. I was like, yes, absolutely. Okay, it, this is the demand letter right now. This is, this is the demand letter right here. And uh, it says, hey, I recently sent you this dispute letter about these accounts, right? And it goes on to talk about, hey, look, if you had it investigated properly and not just used your Eoscar system, you would have known this is not 100% verified. Okay, we talk about them using their Eoscar system right in here. It has said, it has been ruled time and time again, Cushman versus TransUnion, Stefan versus Experian, Richardson versus Equifax. Each and every time the courts, each and every time the courts ruled that the CRAs, the credit reporting agencies, couldn't merely parrot information from the creditors and collection agencies. They had to do a reasonable independent investigation and simply using the Oscar system is not enough, okay? If they maintain this type of information on your credit reports, and it's not 100% verified, this could be a potential violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act up to damages of $1,000 per violation, 
That's a possibility, okay? So, you've got the bureaus that you can dispute with. You've got the collectors you can dispute with. You know how to add good positive history, all right? Good credit cards, good trade lines. You know how to utilize your good credit. You know how to stave off things like this when, you know, companies want to close lines of credit or restructure, whatever it might be. You can do this. You can have that 700 credit score, that 800 credit score, that house, that car, that business, whatever you're looking for. 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.